Hello and welcome to World Spirit number 14. We're gradually getting up there. Uh, my name is Roy Fenson. I own Moon and Mask, a mobile service, as well as organizing spiritual and wellness fairs. Friday nights is my night to share with where everybody is going to be and what they are doing in the next few weeks. Uh, there's not a lot of fairs on around at the moment, but there are just a few. And those that are um, interested, if you want to catch up with these people, whether you're watching this in live or replay, please, um, if you want to see the email addresses or the connections, watch it in the replay afterwards and then stop the replay so that you can get the information. I don't normally run it into the comments as it's, um, it tends to just not work properly for some reason since I've changed this program. But we'll jump into the program as it is. Now, first off, if you have the ability, please share with friends and family and make sure you know that all your customers are getting this information as well as all your friends who have different uh, businesses or things that might apply to the wellness or spiritual aspect let them know so that they can choose to promote their own business as well as promoting uh, the clients to come to their, their business now the first one up is go to facebook.com forward slash SWF 2015. Now, on that, you will find that there are some upcoming fairs, especially the Adelaide Psychic Fair on November the 10th and 11th. Now, the 10th is the pageant, so it's a madhouse at the best of times, but uh, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a brilliant day because I say it is. Uh, it will be held at 2.30 Flinders Street, Adelaide. Now, a couple of the people that are coming, uh, Jenny Greenfield, Eliza Richter, Faye Baldock, Michaela France, Annette Kirkwood, Beauty Kunz. These names pro probably don't m mean a lot to you, but I will try and go back over them. Uh, Jenny Greenfield will be doing readings on the Sunday. Eliza Richter will be doing sound healings and Tibetan bowl healings on both days. Uh, Faye Baldock will be doing jewellery over the weekend. Michaela Frant uh, will be doing um, bathroom products as in bath bombs, uh, soaps and those forms of unguents. Annette Kirkwood will likely be doing uh, crystals or uh, books and tarot cards. We also have Bidi Kunz who will be doing oils and their uses and how you can make the best out of them. Uh, Karen Lee will be doing some readings, I believe. Catherine Baker will be doing some readings. And Carolyn Wilde will be doing um, bee products, as in candles and other bee products, as well as astrology books and the like. There will also be Moon and Mask. We will be down there. Uh, we will have a couple of stalls, and there's going to be Triple J jewellery. So there's going to be a lot of crystals and jewellery and other items that they are bringing along. Hi, Deb. How are you, Alan? Uh, I see you haven't moved out yet, but uh, let us know when you're going to shift so that I can uh, I can clear uh, some days and we can uh, catch up with the beer or three. So um, always happy to hear from you, Deb. Lovely to have you tuned in. And uh, if anybody else wants to comment, they're more than welcome. And um, we will promote as much as we can. Now, the next on the list is uh, just a quick one. 
let us know where you intend on being and what you intend on doing and we can try and promote your business uh, over the <laughs> you've got a long way if you're going to wait for the car then you go on there girl uh, you're going to have to spend some money to get a new vehicle or something to go with it now back to this one let us know where you'll be and we can promote you and where you're at so if you're doing the market we will promote you at that market. We don't promote the market itself, just you and where you're going to be. So if you know somebody that's going to be at a market and they'd like to get across, um, normally at about six o'clock at night, I don't get a lot of people watching in, but over the next 24 hours, we normally pick up 100 to 200 people. So if you're thinking about it, Now's the time to be doing it. Now, here we have through my eyes at hotmail.com, and there is a number 0407. Hi, Yvonne. I'm just about to put your stuff up. Um, 0407855825. This is for Yvonne Schwartz. Now, she will be at the Adelaide Psychic Event in Flinders Street, Adelaide, on the 10th and 11th. Oh, I've been told I have the wrong number. Thank you very much for that, Yvonne. I'll take that down. Um, I was sure that's that's what I had. Type it up, love, and I will put it up um, at the end. Good for you, Deb. Uh, look forward to hearing from you around then. Somehow I keep getting 07 instead of 09. Thank you very much, um, Yvonne. I will put that up again. Hello, uh, Annette. Glad to have you on board. And um, thank you. Now. Where was I? I was. Yes, Yvonne is taking bookings and there's still a few spaces available to catch up with Yvonne on the 10th and the 11th. Now, the 10th being the pageant day, it is, um, it's important that you make these bookings because people tend to drop in pretty regular on the, um, on the pageant days. So... Don't be afraid to uh, give the call. I will put up Yvonne's number at the end so that you can check it yourself. Um, and that will give you the opportunity to book him with Yvonne. Now, the next one on the list is a little bit different. Here we go. Now, this is for Annie Hutchins. She is a lithomancer. I love that word. It's absolutely lovely. Thank you very much, Yvonne. I'm glad to hear that you have shared. That's always appreciated, especially on this wonderful program that we are putting out. Now, I'll go back to that one again. Um, Annie Hutchins is doing lithomancy or crystal readings the first and third Wednesdays of the month at Spellbound Magical Gifts in Gawler. Thank you, Annette. I will put that up shortly. I would like to get this out and finished. Um, now, she's at Spellbound Magical Gifts in Gawler. She does astrology readings, five crystal readings, spiritual confirmations, and she does this on the first and third Wednesdays of the month. So please... Uh, get onto that Facebook site and let Annie Hutchins know that you're interested in either having a reading or being a part of it so that she can book you in and get you some decent um, readings on those days. Next one up. Oh, I forgot. There we go. Annette, yes, thank you very much for sharing and I love the little heart. That's absolutely brilliant always good 
Now, a lot of these people are coming in on the fair in November, which is just over a week away, but they have asked to be put up on the sheet, and I'm quite willing to do that. Now, here we have Katerina Lenarchik's um, Facebook page and a phone number. Now, Katerina is doing the Sunday, the 11th of November, at the Adelaide Psychic Fair, Flinders Street, Adelaide. She's taking bookings, and she'll be taking bookings for readings only. So please get on to that Facebook page or give Katerina a call and let her know that you would like to have a reading on the Sunday, the 11th of November. This is so that uh, everybody can be booked out or at least covered for those people who want to come in. Most of the readers that do this do leave a few vacant spaces for walk-ins, and that is always appreciated by the uh, people who are doing it. But uh, it is good to have a full and covered day so sometimes it's good to book in in advance just to be sure that you don't have to wait a half an hour or more for a space to open up. <clears throat> now, again, uh, to be appraised of where people are going to be and what type of thing they're up to, type update in the comments. If you've already done this, you're probably on my list already. But um, if you haven't done this already, type update into the comments and hopefully you will get a text message via uh, mini chat. And if you don't, let me know because that means that it's down and I will need to uh, repair. Excuse me a moment. Get the dust up me snoot and no sneeze coming. Now, as well as doing um, these types of events, we have other people who are on this channel. Now, on Mondays, we have What the Flux. Normally, of a Monday evening, sometimes it's once a fortnight, so please keep an eye on that. Um, Monday evenings at 8 p.m., we have a variety of discussions, normally with Dermot Kelly, but sometimes other people drop in and want information. So all well, they want to drop in their five bobs with, just to let the people know that we're talking absolutely correctly or absolute rubbish. Whatever they see is fit. Everybody has an opinion and they're allowed to have that opinion. Now, the conversations can go from Galactic Federation to... Uh, political malfeasance of what they are trying to avoid telling us and um, the the way the government is uh, not doing what is necessary to bring about change. It can also be about um, information from people such as uh, Hawaz from Egypt or other people around the world who are finding interesting artefacts. And if you've seen some of the things on YouTube, you'll know that there are a great many um, institutes and people that uh, a lot of them have cash in their pocket and they don't want people to know about some of the things that are going on and some of the things that can save us heaps of money. So there's always some good conversations there and it's always good to have discussions where People can put their five cents worth in. So that keeps us all going busily. Now, the next one is of a Wednesday evening, and that is um, Healing with Eliza. Now, that comes on live. You have the ability to come on live and just by typing in guests while we're doing the uh, broadcast, and you can come in and have a live healing. We do state that if you want to do a live healing that you have Google Chrome, it won't work any other way without, uh, um, if you don't have Google Chrome. And we ask that um, if you want a reading by Eliza, 
this is a um, card reading or light language reading <coughs> then you type into the comments next to your name basically a single question as to what you would like to know you know so it says reading and then after that you know what's coming up in for my job or whatever and then if you can let us know where you're from that's always nice we've had some people from alice springs a couple from overseas we've had people from robe even had a couple of people from sydney on, on one of them so we do get them from around australia but it's always nice to uh, know where you're coming from and the questions that you wish to ask. So keep an eye out for Eliza's. That's on Wednesday nights at 7.30 p.m. Now, the next one is generally the Friday night. We have uh, facebook.com, mytvlive, world-spirit. You can go there and we have the well spirit updates which i'm doing now so it's just a continuous extension of where these people are going to be every friday evening at 6 pm we let you know where the businesses are which people are going there so that you can tune in to them go along have a good reading pick up whatever it is that you want to pick up from these people and also to let people know um where these other people are going to be now i'm going to bring up the other one again because um, it's always lovely at about three quarters of the way through share with friends and family it's important to let them know that these things are on we do try to keep you informed of where these people are going to be sometimes there's not a lot of information to pass on and then sometimes there's a lot of stuff to get through but in most cases, we want you to know where these things are going to be happening, who's doing them, so that you can partake in being a part of that. Now, next is uh, like every Friday night, Eliza Richter does a soul sound healing and meditation. Now, this can be found on Facebook in the group section. I know it's very long and all that, so please put this into uh, replay afterwards, wait for it to come up and then write it down. Um, I, For some reason, since they've changed to be live, when I put it into the crawler aspect, it doesn't show up in the comments, which is a bit of a pain, but uh, <clears throat> that's the way it goes. Now uh that will be starting this evening uh at 7 30 uh, around the henley grange area i think at the moment it is at the henley grange community center which is on seaview road uh normally it's uh, at a hall at the, at the back on uh, military road next to the cop shop down at henley beach <coughs> but well worth going in for it, uh, it, it is an opportunity to understand sound healing as well as light language. There's generally a reading at the end of the evening of which card, oh, excuse me, which cards are for you and what it means for you in the upcoming bits and pieces. Uh, there's a meditation during the whole evening, so there's a lot, of, lot to be gained from uh, the soul sound healings and meditations with Eliza. Now, on top of that, I'm throwing in a wild card here. I'm about to um, log in to make my own sound healing and meditation sessions. And if you're interested in the sound healings and meditations, if you're in or around the Jeps Cross area, then please you are free to send me an email uh, at that address roy at moonandmask.com.au and let me know this probably won't start until about january it's a bit you know a tad late in the year to be starting a new course 
So I am going to probably start around January. I'm just setting in the locations at the moment. Now, we use Tibetan bowls, crystal bowls, chimes, drums. Uh, this is a one-hour opportunity to relax yourself and let your mind be calm for just a short period. You know, get rid of the stress and the strain of the week or the day just for an hour. It'll be starting shortly, so contact me for more information if this is something that's going to interest you. Now I move on to uh, November the 24th. At the moment, I haven't got much in between that, but on November the 24th, there is a psychic fair at Norlunga. This is being done by the Spiritual Mission of Norlunda. Now, Moon and Mask, which is myself and my wife, will be taking part in this. This is incense, crystal bowls, tarot cards, Reiki items. All of this will be available. And it goes from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's a twilight fair. So if you happen to be in the area of Port Norlunda, just get onto Facebook and check out the... Um, Psychic Fair in Orlando, and you'll see that that is going to be a rather big event because um, I think the last time I had a look, they had uh, two, three thousand people or something on the list of people that were interested in going to it. So there's that's uh, another one to that uh, will hopefully be coming up and people will take notice of. Now I go back a little bit and <clears throat> yeah i'll do that in a second um again if you know somebody that is out there that has a business um let us know where you're going to be and which market or which fair you're going to go to so that we can promote you and encourage people to come along and see you at these fairs and markets it also pays to share on your Facebook page um, the replay or the live play of these events so that people see what is going on and what's happening and it interests more people in becoming a part of the broadcast. It's, it's lovely to have the viewers on, but we really do need the customers to be joining us of an evening so that we can get these people aware of what's happening. And we do get a good response normally in the replay, but I would still like to see a lot more people dropping in uh, just after 6 o'clock. It's only a half-hour session normally. Uh, and if you want to be kept appraised, whether you're watching this in replay or uh, the live, the live will finish shortly, so probably in replay, type update in the comments and hopefully you will receive a text message via ManyChat. And if you don't, please get on to Roy at moonamask.com.au and let me know that this is not working. Now, as far as I can tell, unless somebody has something new that they wish to inform me of, oh, I was going to put up Ewan's um, phone number, and I will go back to that. Deeply, deeply do. Give me a second. Control C, uh, Control V. I love this live TV. This is what it's all about. I will do Yvonne's again so that, um, here we go. Now, Yvonne is going to be at the Adelaide Psychic Fair, Flinders Street, Adelaide. She is taking bookings. And if you wish to be one of those people that has a space, then 0409-855-825 is the number to call to contact Yvonne, I'm not sure how many spaces she has left. So if you're watching this in replay, uh, there's only a week and a day to go. So I would suggest that you pick up the phone over the weekend and make a booking because next Friday this will go up again and Saturday will be the day that it all happens. 
So please get out there and let people know what is going on. And if you can't get in with Ewan, that's all right too because you can come along on the day to the Adelaide Psychic Fair. Um, if you want to check that out, please go to Facebook SWF 2015 and you will see that there is one this month and also one next month. So if you're into the spiritual and the wellness aspects, drop along, drop in, make yourself known. There is approximately 20-odd stall holders in the shed at Flinders Street, and I really do believe it's going to be a brilliant day and it's something you really don't want to miss out on. So that has been so much fun to do. <coughs> Now, as with all things, I've got about five minutes to spare. Now, what I'm going to do is just leave that open in case somebody wants to make a comment and I will full reactions. Wonderful. Now, um, if you want to leave a comment, I will put something up if it's important. If not, I will simply respond to the comment. Oh, it's a good thing to talk for a half an hour, but your throat gets dry at the end of it. <clears throat> Four minutes to go and nobody is commenting. So I must have done a really good job because nobody's commenting. Now, add a poll. I don't know whether to add a poll or not. I should think about that before I do it, shouldn't I? There's an idea. Suggest a poll for the weekly update. I thank you too, Annette. It has been good that you have dropped in uh, and it is exceptionally good that you have shared with the that we are happening and that you are going to be at the fair next Saturday week. Looking forward to it. And if you're there, Yvonne, uh, thank you very much. And are you waiting to know where I'm working after the city fair? Definitely, Yvonne, definitely. Um, I think I asked you the other day, but you didn't have an answer. But if you've got something, I'm willing to put it up. Let me know now. Three minutes to go, Yvonne. Put it up now and I will uh, put it in the comments straight away. And if anybody has not noticed on My Time TV, uh, My Time Live World well, Spirit, uh, and Leanne Winston does a regular reading session during the week and she does post on our side and you are more than welcome to drop in and see that or catch up with leanne yourself on her own channel and i'm if you've seen leanne's uh, readings they are exceptional and she has a good crowd from all over australia so uh, tune in and if you know anybody that wants to be interviewed or would like to be interviewed or would like to do a regular spot, then I'm open to that as well. Well, it looks like Yvonne's not doing anything from here as she has nothing coming up. And we have about a minute to spare. So we will just hang on for another minute. Again, once more, finally, sold, sold, sold. Um, if you are going to go to a fair, oh, right, yeah, I forgot about that one. When's that one on, Yvonne? Oh, here it is, here it is. Well, all good. Hang on, we'll put it up. The Northern Psychic Fair is happening at Yulee Hall on Yulee Road, Craigmore. I take it as Craig Moore, not Greg Moore, on the 24th and 25th of November, 10 till 4, both days. There's another one. I, um, I'll add that to the list, actually, just so that we've got it for next week. 
as well. So if anybody's doing anything between now and then, um, I will put that on the list. Now, I've got to go into there. Oh, hang on. Control C. Uh, go into the edge and move. Uh, that goes there. Put that there and go like that there. And we will take this here and go like that and like that. And we'll change the G uh, from Gregmore to Craigmore. And what do you know? Add the title and we go down the bottoms and there it is. Northern Psychic Fair. Yuli Road, Yuli Hall at Craigmore on the 24th and 25th of November. 10 till 4 p.m. both days. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, well, I, I understand uh, that you are um, technologically aware there, Yvonne, so I did not expect too much rapidity, but thank you for typing fast. And thank you, Annette. Blessings to you and namaste. Hope the sun shines on your back always, and may I catch you next week for the next World Spirit Update. Share and share and share and let people know that we are available and people want to be known where they're going to be. Thank you very much, people. I'm about to end the broadcast. Good night. Oh, good night.